Hi everyone, Jesse Cope here from Slime Beards Exotics. I would like to commence by stating how I apologize for the sound quality of this video. I have not received my road mic yet. Uh, however, this video is strictly for the sole purpose of answering a reoccurring question based on the health of the Roswell boas. Basically, uh, I have acquired two of the homozygous form recently, both 100% Helvino. Uh, and in this video, I would like to portray how they do not suffer any inferiorities. Uh, they have complete muscle control, control of their tongue. Uh, they are not deteriorating in any way. They are now well established in my collection and they are thriving. Not only are they thriving, but these animals are flourishing and now starting to take their meals and growing in size. So without further ado, I'll show you my first little girl. So here's the first Super Roswell Helvino. As you can see, proper function of the tongue. Always smelling, just like a boa would. Has its strength. Let's play around with it a bit here. Get her climb. Nothing wrong with her. Just a healthy boa. Uh, she looks amazing. These things have the coolest eyes, personally. Uh, when I saw them in John Barry's book, this was the boa I had to acquire. And now I do have two, and I'm very happy with them. So there you have it. First girl, no problems whatsoever. Just an insane looking morph. Uh, these things really are aliens. Very beautiful. Now this is the one that looks more similar to the picture in the book based on the colors. However, I do like my darker one more, even though she has more breaks in the pattern. But as you can see, just like the other Super Roswell, nothing wrong with her. Very healthy animal. Yeah, there she is. 